Here are five of the most overrated cars in the Kenyan market today. And as usual, Conversations is that channel that is going to guarantee you an alluring motor vehicle experience. I'm your host, Eric Wakabi, and if you want to follow me up close and personal, follow me at Eric Wakabi. Eric has a CK on all platforms. Number five is one of the most boring cars around. It is the Toyota Premio. Now, we are not, we are not even going to limit ourselves to a particular year of manufacture because uh, it goes down the history lane. Uh, Igari Lianza cooperated with a Premio that was called the Corona Premio. Corona, not, not like COVID, like Corona. Yes, there was a car called Corona. So, uh, the Corona was also nicknamed Nyoka. I wonder why guys still call cars what would you call a car snake anyway tell us why it's called the nyoka on the on the comments we would like to know why it's called the nyoka anyway today why would you buy a premium nyoka for say 500 and something thousand to 600 thousand you see it doesn't make sense considering it's a jurassic car it's old anyway market forces the other one is the premium 240 premium 240 manze you go online you go you find that that car is being sold for Crazy figures, like even 700 G, 650,000 Kenya shillings. An old car for that amount. Uh, if you ask anyone, why, why, do you, why, why are those premiums expensive? Uh, they'll tell you, ah, he got in Mzuri. But they can't tell you, Kwanini, he got in Mzuri. The elephant in the room is the premium 260. Premium 260 now in Guinea. Why would you buy a premium 260 for 1.7 uh, million Kenya shillings? That's money that would buy you a Volvo S40 or could import you a Volvo V40. And you see, we, it, performance wise, we can't even compare the two. I think the Premio 260 is value for money or any Premio. As for me, nah. Number four on this list is um, the Toyota Fielder. And the most notorious one, Fielder Yamata Kwa Boot. They call it Fielder Yamata Kwa Boot because it has uh, reverse lights on uh, the tailgate. And also its Axio counterpart is also overrated as well, especially also the Yamatakwa boot. It was a unique body design. So I have never understood why this field Yamatakwa boot could be, it's now retailing for around uh, 700, 650,000 Kenya shillings, considering it's a 2005 model. Again, if you ask these guys, Mbona field Yamatakwa boot, why is it good? They'll tell you it's a good car, but they won't tell you how good is it? Remember, 650,000 Kenya shillings or 700,000 can get you a better car. Yeah, so, uh, and also its counterpart, the, the, the other two models. Huh? Uh, I don't understand why today you would buy a Toyota Fielder for 1.35 to 1.4 million Kenya shillings. Uh, it does, does it give you value for money? In my idea, it does not give you value for money. It's just a normal basic touring car. Yes, it is reliable, but I don't think, I think there are some more reliable cars or equivalent reliable for, lower, for, for a lower price. Yes, yeah, so around 1.2. You're buying a, a fielder for the price of a Nissan Tiana. Number three is for two overrated crossovers. We are putting them head to head. The Toyota Vanguard, manze ini le garia ma principal wa high school. It, it's, it's the trademark for any wealthy businessman or principal. Yeah, the Vanguard. And it's, it's well, it's, it's a bit boring, especially the 2.4 liter. There, there is a higher trim that performs well, that is the 3.5 V6. Anyway, the other counterpart still in this category is the Mazda CX-5. Yes, Mazda people. That car is overrated. I remember the, the, the prices have shot up from around 1.8, even 1.7, to for the petrol one right now is going for around 2.4 million. I don't think that is uh, a good price tag for a Mazda CX-5. I think there are better cars you can get for that amount. Maybe you can try and look at the Volvo XC60. Uh, it will stand out any day compared, it's more reliable, especially compared to the diesel Mazda CX-5. So, uh, as for the Vanguard, hey, guys are being ripped off, especially because the Vanguard was ripped, was uh, discontinued in uh, 2014. So, this year we are seeing the last Vanguards being imported. So, what you are likely to see is that the prices for local used Vanguards are going to shoot up, and guys are still going to pay for them. 
Are they value for money? For that price tag, I don't think so. Number two happens to be a class of tiny cars that most of you call dudus. Now, these cars are uh, the Mazda Demio, the, the Honda Fit, and the most overrated one, the Toyota Vits. When it comes to buying them as freshly imported, you'll be coughing out around 950,000 Kenya shillings. If you're looking for used ones, well, the VIT stands out. Because if you're looking at buying a 2008 uh, Toyota VIT, you'll be coughing out close to 600,000 shillings. If you choose to go to 2005 or 2006, then it will set you back around, say, 450 to 400,000 Kenya shillings. Now, forget about that. Eh? <clears throat> Do you know 600,000 Kenya shillings can get you a Mercedes-Benz W202 with a 211 engine? As it, it's, it's, it's a total different contrast because uh, the Benz has better safety rating. It, uh, it's, not, it, it's not very badly off when it comes to fuel economy. Also, it gives you that status. You know, imagine you're parking, you're going for, for maybe a big business meeting. You park a VITS worth 600,000 Kenya shillings, and I pack a W202, they are still worth around the same amount. As in, utaka comes here, you serious. I'm not, no beef against small cars, but uh, you, you must look at the aspect of value for money. You see the Benz, bado watu watakuwa nasema, hey, Omera, mengia na Benz, ndovu ni cool. Yeah, you have that, that serious look. Again, uh, when it comes to the beach, what does it have to offer? The, yes, we don't dispute that they are, Reliable, they are very reliable. The new Demios, same case. Uh, the Fit, same case. But I think the prices have really gone up because of online taxi hailing business. So when uh, demand rises and uh, there is limited supply, although the supply, the decline in supply might be artificial, we we'll talk about that in another video. So the price goes up, and it goes up to extents that do not give you value for money. Before we go to number one, have you ever thought about? An Arsenal fan who owns a Nissan Serena. Anyway, away with that. Uh, YouTube has told us, eh? just like last time, apparently last time 73% uh, were going without subscribing and it has turned out that uh, the people who are watching this channel, 80% uh, are just watching and not subscribing. Oh, guys, uh, we tunauliza, manze, to party your support, to boost kidogo up kwa subscriptions, click on the bell icon uh, after you subscribe, that is, and I can see you, African Tigress. Asante Sana, thank you for your exemplary support. And Manze uh, Ambia Pia, your subscribers, Pia Wakuje Pandei, on a channel. Also, now on Ibra, subscribe Wakili. Also, Manze Wakili, come on, subscribe you on Kesi Kotini. Anyway, guys, please, uh, what's your director? I'm giving you five seconds before we go to Kan Ambuan because Kan Ambuan is. Very interesting. Before the five seconds run out, eh, uh, we do have a Patreon account and also we do have a YouTube community that you can click to join. Uh, we are car consultants eh, and we can assist you with buying a car, pre-purchase inspection and even direct importation. So you can uh, do something small by joining that Patreon account and uh, the YouTube community. This is how you benefit, by the way. Once you join the Patreon account, you can get access to two consultations in a month, including one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, you can come to office or Kiongea Fiti, Unaiza Pia. We can come to where you are. Uh, secondly, uh, you can uh, maybe call us up, but uh, for consultations, check to Kidogo to Manajua Nairobi Lazima to Lipe Bills, and we'll be willing to help you achieve your dreams by buying the right car for the right job for the right person. Oh, and by the way, also check out our website. The link is on the description below. And also for the Patreon account and the YouTube community, uh, the links are also on, the, on this video's description below. So check them out. Car number one on today's list is uh, the Toyota Auris. Now, the Toyota Auris is going for a whooping 1.4 uh, million Kenya shillings. Uh, if you get it cheaper, maybe 1.35. And let me tell you, eh, do you know which cars you can get for 1.4 million Kenya shillings? Let's start with the list. Do you know that you can get a Juke for that same price? Uh, Juke, better ground clearance. I'm not saying a Juke is good. Neither am I saying <laughs> a Juke is bad. But Sira Joile, Nissan, Nissan too. Anyway, I, I did not mention about CVT on this episode. So don't, don't stone me. The other car you can get, you can get an, a freshly imported Audi A3 
Like you can't even compare the two for God's sake. The other car you can get, you can get yourself a VW Golf variant. It's big, it's spacious, and it performs quite well. We'll talk about the variant in another video also because it's, it's a good replacement uh, for that price tag. Another car you can get is uh, the Mercedes-Benz C-Class, to be specific, C180 W204. That is locally used. Uh, you can get a clean one for that price tag, even if it's a bit older, but it will give you more class compared to a Toyota Auris. So guys, do you really think buying a Toyota Auris for 1.4 million Kenya shillings is value for money? Do tell us in the comments, but as for me, I don't think so. And that's it guys. Oh, pole, 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 pole. There's a bonus. For this one, I need to have to call my ancestors and my country people. Uh, yes, I, I, I'm very proud to be one of them, but I need to ask you guys, surely, surely, surely. You upgrade from a fielder, you buy a Vanguard. If not a Vanguard, you buy a Harrier for prices that are not even mentionable. You know, approaching 3 million. For, for, for a Harrier, for God's sake. Nike Mani, Ado, what's up? You know, for that price, you can get cars that, anyway, you, you'd, be, you'd be spoiled for choice for cars that can offer better. You can even get Audi Q5s, but Harrier, manze. And you see, even assuming a lady buys a Harrier, Nanza Kuitoa, Tata Motors, East Africa. <laughs> anyway, and you're Harrier, we, can, we are not saying that. Certain people drive certain cars, but uh, the society has come to define some characteristics of people who drive some certain cars. So, manzi aduanyo bamani, you you guys, man, it's it's not that that was a bonus. But those cars you graduate from, filled a matakwa boot, filled a new shape, Vanguard Harrier. Nah. That's it, that's a wrap this time to Ukweli on the a list of five or rather five with a bonus of some of the most overrated cars in the Kenyan market today. Do follow us on our social media platforms uh, at Conversations across Instagram, Facebook and Twitter and you can also follow me at a personal level. Uh, my fan page on Facebook Eric Wokabi, Eric with a CK, uh, Twitter at Eric Wokabi, Instagram at Eric Wokabi and do remember Eric Ikona CK. That's it guys, see you on the next electrifying video. <laughs>